Hello everyone, I am Nupur and welcome to my YouTube channel that is impactful learning with Nupur. So keep liking and sharing my videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, now let's get started. Students, this is a short and crisp video of grade 10 CBSC from Footprints Without Feet book on chapter 3, The Midnight Visitor. This video will surely help you to understand the crux of the chapter. As you can see, there are three characters here. First, Fowler, who is a young writer. Second, Ozibel, who is a secret agent. And third, Max, who is also a secret agent but belongs to a rival institution. Okay, rest of the part we will discuss while reading the summary of the story. Students, here I am providing you the meanings of the difficult words from the chapter the Midnight Visitor. So whenever you read the chapter, you can get the help from the glossary page to understand the chapter in a clear way. Right? So the first is musty, that means old-fashioned or lacking freshness. Second, gloomy, dark or poorly lit. Third, whistly, a whistling sound when you breathe commonly when you breathe commonly linked to asthma. Fourth, espionage. The practice of spying to obtain secret or confidential information without the permission of the holder of the information. Fifth, sloopy, that means careless and lazy. Sixth, prosaic, unimaginative, uninspired. Seven, chuckled, laugh quietly or inwardly. Eighth, disillusioned, that means disappointed. Okay? Ninth slender, that means thin. Tenth countenance, that means a person's face or facial expressions. Then inflection, pitch in the voice. Then glance, a brief or hurried look. Then explanatorily, that means instructive or informative. Then evilly, in a wicked evil manner. Then swiftly, that means quickly without delay. And last uncorked, to pull the cock or to open a bottle of wine. Right? Now, students, we will discuss the characters through flowcharts. So, these are the traits of Ausubel. Who is Ausubel? Ausubel is this person, this fat man. Okay? Ausubel is a sloopy fat man, but a renowned secret agent. He speaks French and German with an American accent, but originally belongs to Boston. Ausubel is good at reading faces and minds of others and finds clearly that Fowler is disappointed at meeting him. Ausubel is an alert, quick-witted, cool-headed, intelligent secret agent and has great presence of mind. Okay? Now, let's discuss the traits of Fowler. Fowler is a young writer, keen on writing about espionage. He is not a good judge of character and forms a poor opinion about Ausubel's caliber as a spy from his unimpressive physique an ordinary place where he is staying. Fowler is weak-hearted and too inexperienced to face the challenges encountered in his occupation as a writer. Okay? Now last, traits of Max. Like Ausubel, Max is also a secret agent, but he belongs to a rival institution. He is resourceful and his ability to arrange a passkey to Ausubel's room speaks highly about his resourcefulness. Okay, Max is gullible as he takes Ausubel's words with seriously without verifying the truth of his opponent's claim about the balcony outside the window. Okay, now let's discuss the summary with a message. Ausubel is a spy agent but doesn't look like one because of his ordinary looks. He speaks French and German with an American accent even after 20 years of his stay in France. Fowler is a young writer who wants to prepare a write-up on espionage but bit disappointed to meet a fat spy. Ausubel knows about his unimpressive appearance but assures Fowler to send him some important papers that could possibly affect the course of history. When both of them reach Ausubel's room and he switches on the light, they find a man standing halfway across the room with a small automatic pistol in his hand. Ausubel addresses the man as Max and surprised to find him in town as he is supposed to be in Berlin. 
Max is thin and has a fox-like face. He is at Ozibel's room to grab the paper on new missiles. Ozibel uses his presence of mind and sits in the chair and tells Max that a man had entered his room earlier through the balcony and Max's entry confirms that the hotel staff is careless for the hotel security. Fowler looks through the window but see dark outside. Max tells Ozibel that he entered the room with the help of Paski. Ozibel keeps Max's attention engaged at the leakage of information about the missiles report. Suddenly, they hear a tap at the door and Max gets nervous. Ozibel tells the midnight visitor, Max, that he had tied up with police to safeguard the report and the knock on the door indicates that the men in uniform were in time and police can enter even when their knocking is not answered, which means that the police would come in and shoot Max. Max warns if police is not sent away, he shall shoot Ozibel and Fowler. By saying this, Max jumps onto the balcony and a loud scream is heard. When the door opens, a waiter is there with a tray whose name is Henry. Fowler is shocked as he cannot understand the presence of Henry in place of police. Then Ozibel tells the story that it was a quick creation of his thinking and because of his presence of mind, he had saved him and Fowler and he clarifies that because of this, Max jumped onto a non-existent balcony from the sixth floor and this is how he is succeeded in his mission. Okay? And the message which we receive from the story. The story is with the midnight visitor conveys a message that quick wit and presence of mind are the main rules of successful spying. If Max had tried to verify the presence of balcony before jumping onto it, he could have saved his life and succeeded in his mission. Thus, the survival and espionage depends on a spy's mental alertness. Right? So students, I hope this video has given you absolute clarity and you can copy the glossary, the traits of Ozibel, Fowler and Max and summary with a message in your notepads and notebook. So keep liking and sharing my videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel that is impactful learning with Nupur. Thank you so much.